one of the key things that country needs to do, countries need to do in order to uh, improve their civil registration vital statistics system is to ensure that no one is left behind in accessing civil registration. I work for UNHCR, which is the, the, the UN agency responsible for the protection of, of refugees, uh, resolving uh, statelessness, but also in some circumstances helping internally displaced persons. These populations often find it difficult to access civil registration. Refugees are sometimes living in camps where uh, there are no civil registration facilities. IDPs often are displaced and they um, can't get um, health services when, when their children are born, so they can't get birth notifications, which are vital for getting birth certificates. Um, sometimes uh, states have uh, laws and policies which uh, are based in the past, uh, where uh, non-nationals can't have uh, their births, marriages or deaths uh, registered within the civil registration system. So these blocks are our key challenges to try to ensure that access to, to civil registration is open to, to all. So two really interesting examples of where states in Southeast Asia have managed to address these sorts of challenges can be seen in the Philippines and in Thailand. In the Philippines, uh, a couple of years ago, it was rocked by um, a massive typhoon which, which devastated the country, known as Haiyan um, globally, but Yolanda in the Philippines. And that destroyed many civil registries in the area affected by, by this hurricane, but it also displaced many thousands of people. Um, killed many, unfortunately, as well. Uh, some of the displaced lost their identity documents, their birth certificates in, in the Philippines. And that meant they had challenges accessing uh, uh, humanitarian relief and other entitlements. So one of the things that UNHCR did with an NGO partner called Ideals, and of course the government of the Philippines, was to work to rebuild the civil registries, to rebuild the capacity of civil registrars, and to do outreach with the pop affected populations to identify where the gaps were and provide them with assistance in filling out the forms to get the documentation back that they'd lost. Um, there was also follow-on legal advice given by paralegals to help them uh, once they got the documentation, made the applications to uh, access humanitarian relief and social entitlements. And one of the great things about that project is that UNHCR was able to hand it over to UNICEF after the emergency phase had ended, and it was expanded out to help uh, populations who hadn't been displaced but had never had uh, been included in the civil registry um, before. And so it's a great example of where uh, humanitarian relief can end up building back better. The second example is in Thailand in 2008. Uh, the Thais took a decision to amend their civil registration law to bring it in line with uh, international standards in the Convention on the Rights of the Child. Uh, that meant that non-nationals could be included within the civil registration system for the first time. And what was great about that reform, one of the many things that was great about that reform, that it was forward-looking, it was prospective and retrospective. So not only could uh, refugees and stateless people be able to have their births registered in the system now, but those who hadn't been registered before could also make applications to be included. And we've seen a, a really impressive step change in the level of civil registration of non-nationals in Thailand as a result.